Hi everyone, welcome to Behind the Wheel Racing. My name is Jake, thank you for joining me today. We are back at Spa, uh, this time in the grade three cars. We were just here in the grade four cars a couple weeks ago, um, but we're here in some bigger, faster cars. Uh, I think the grade three class is super fun to drive. Here we're in the Supra to start out here. Um, and I was really trying this week to figure out uh, how to you know, ride the fine line between too aggressive and too passive because I noticed in the last few weeks of racing that although I was super clean I was racing very passively and I was often you know not taking advantage of good overtake opportunities or giving up places you know just so I drive a clean race and get the clean race star and while that's you know not a bad thing um, I was missing out on a lot of opportunities so I'm trying to ride that fine line and be a little bit more aggressive these uh, this week and maybe in these next coming weeks I'll, I'll keep the experiment going but um, that's what we're trying to do we're trying to ride that fine line and on this first lap it all kind of falls apart in this first race uh, I get pushed into the gravel from that AMG maybe I didn't give them quite enough room there but uh, nonetheless some mistakes made and I'm dropping into seventh but it doesn't end there this nice little NSX behind us is going to send us into a pirouette of gravel and we are gonna fall all the way back to 15th place after starting in fourth so that was a real bummer for the start of this one because I had really good starting position but we're just gonna keep on chugging here um, and try and catch up to the rest of the pack and on this second lap, I was able to snag a couple places back. I got a penalty up Al Rouge, and I was able to keep it fairly clean going up Al Rouge onto that long straight because I know how important that long straight can be. But I do make a mistake here. These two get into a scuffle behind me and take me with them. So I'm kind of pushed to the outside there. That Nissan's just going to drop out of the race, uh, not before I'm giving that Porsche a little push. Um, you know, giving me another obstacle to clear, but that's fine. The Porsche is going to go in sloppy. I'm going to go on the inside. We're going to take 13th place back, so slowly making our way back up. Uh, I snag another couple of penalties right here, 12th and 11th, and then that's going to be quickly followed on the next lap, uh, sorry, the fourth lap, uh, by taking 10th place. And I was able to snag fastest lap on that fourth lap so I was keeping good pace here uh, but just you know that mistake at the beginning really set the tone I was able to catch up to the pack on the last lap and I try and make a move up the inside here uh, that Porsche taps me slightly I looked at the replay they do make contact but I think that spin was more due to me just getting on the power uh, too quickly here. So not a great first race, uh, you know, by any means. We did get the fastest lap star, so I'll, I'll be, you know, I'll take that as a small miracle and move on into the second race where we are going to jump in the Nissan GTR Nismo race car. I, I actually really like this car. I don't drive it a ton, although it is a favorite. Um, I, I just don't drive it a lot for whatever reason. Um, but I jumped into it for this one, thought I'd give it a try, and I, I really liked it. Um, I made a little mistake going out of the bus stop chicane there on the start, just getting a little too aggressive on that. And these grade three cars, they do have quite a bit of power. So if you, know, you, you give it a little bit too much mustard coming out of the corner, expect to spin. And that's, uh, that's one of the points I'm trying to get a little bit more finesse on um, just because those exits are so important so we're making our way up this second race here uh, we're still on the first lap and we're making some moves I make a nice little move up the inside on this Porsche and uh, I tap the back of that Nissan however that's nothing detrimental no high speed nothing like that no repercussion they're gonna do it by themselves they're gonna spin out right there and you gotta be careful at spa because if you go offline at all um, you know, the, the edges of the track are very slippery and a lot of people fall victim to that. So um, something to look out for as we move our way up into third place, someone else serving a penalty. However, we're gonna lose third place for a second here to the Porsche coming up the inside. I made an error in that first corner there, um, just, you know, getting the power 
a little bit too quickly. I'm gonna give him the space going up Bar Rouge because I know, you know, just hitting it cleanly is uh, crucial on this back straight. And uh, I know that the GTR has some pretty good top speed to it. So I make the decision to pull back and I catch him in the straight. However, we're not done with this Porsche though. We're gonna come in a little bit too hot to this corner and then we're gonna scrape the inside of that second part of the chicane there and uh, slip a little bit. So we're back in fourth, but we are gonna come up on this next lap and that second place driver just disappears. I don't know why. They went offline, but nothing, you know, super detrimental. They could have they could have still fought for a podium. I am able to keep up with the Porsche, and we are gonna take second place at this point, going up the inside of that hairpin that I can't remember the name of at the moment, but we carry it all the way to the finish. So much better race than the first. Uh, kept it clean, made a few, you know, made a few opportunities become reality there. Uh, with you know moving up in the placing just just trying to make those moves um, and not be so you know rely on my my racing skill a little bit more and not uh, not think that I'm just going to crash into an every uh, every hairpin that comes up so I make moves there and it uh, it pays off now in this third race um, we get started off pretty pretty cooking here we get a good start and we are sitting behind the Ford race car right there. And what this Ford is gonna do is they're gonna go inside and that McLaren that you can see right there does get pushed out. And then I run into him a little bit as a result of that. I was gonna try and go all the way around. And when the Ford pushed them outside, I you know, I was next in line to hit him. I make a little mistake up Bal Rouge and try and just correct myself, let off the pedal just a little bit and the McLaren catches back up to me. However, we're going to jump into this section where uh, a lot happens. Uh, this is always a, a crazy little section because everyone punches up after that long straight. Now, I'm following this Porsche there. I see that Ford go. I'm going to go right as well. And the McLaren makes a move in right. Uh, I think just a little bit too late because I was I was going up. So I didn't mean to, you know, I didn't mean to make contact there. But they made that move super late. And they kind of, you know, hit the brakes right after making that move. And I was right there. So unfortunately, uh, that's just how that went. But no one's race got totally ruined by it. We're gonna keep moving up here. We're up into fifth. This Porsche is gonna push the BRZ off course and almost into the pits. But that Porsche gets an even worse exit out of that corner than I do so I'm gonna be able to pick up third place here uh, I keep up third place I've got good pace at this point and I catch up to the Supra as well a little bit controversial here so the Supra is going to start leaning left right here, and I'm going to sweep in right. I hit the brakes super hard, and I don't have the space to make any moves there. I'm still under braking. They move in. Um, I maybe outbreak myself there, but uh, they move in a little bit quickly. So let me know what you guys think about that. I was able to snag fastest lap once again in this race, uh, cutting, I believe, almost a second off of that last fastest lap time I had. And we almost catch first place here, too. So I was having a really good show of pace in this race. Um, I was making moves that I may not have made a week ago, still keeping it fairly clean, a little more contact here there. But let me know what you guys think. Um, that's all I got for you today. As always, I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe, comment. Uh, you know, I appreciate you watching these videos and tuning in. So thank you guys very much for joining me, and we will see you next time.